Hi, everybody. Back for more action and back for more fun as we play here with the NP3 again, the 1908 season, and we have the Highlanders um, at the Athletics. I'll show you the standings really quick. The reason why we're showing so many Highlanders games um, early on is because they're in the thick of the pennant race here very early in the season, just a half game behind the uh, Red Sox right now. Uh, Philadelphia is not doing quite as well as you can see. Um, the uh, White Sox, however, have started to move up. And then the two other teams that in real life were um, in it the whole year were the Naps and the Tigers. They're um, both under 500, so it's going to be probably a little while before we start um, seeing them show up. Uh, here up first for uh, New York is uh, Charlie Hemphill. His first roll is a 36 for a 33, and that's going to be a pop fly over to second baseman. Eddie Collins has it, one away. Here is Wee Willie Keeler. He rolls a 33 for a 7, and there's a base hit to right field. And uh, that brings a Perry Niles here early on with a chance to do something, and I think we will hit and run. I always take a look first um, just to make sure because I want to check. Niles rolls a 62 for a 12, and that is a ground ball over to second base. Collins again has it, throws to first for the out. With two away, here's Hal Chase. The hit and run works. And uh, Chase up there against Plank, and he rolls a 62 for a 12. That's a strikeout. We go to the bottom of the first inning. And here is Topsy Hartzell. Uh, Topsy rolls a 31 for a 14, and, you know, Bill Hogg is going to give that one up. Um, there's a first walk of the game here for the Athletics, and that brings up Harry Davis. And we'll just swing away with him. Won't do anything fancy. He rolls a 14 for a 43. It's a fly ball over to left field. Stahl has it for the first out. Here's Eddie Collins. Eddie up there rolls a 62 for a 12, and that ends up being a walk. I forgot about that. Yeah, so that 12 ends up being a walk with the runners on base. You see that W base on balls against the pitch who has the W rating. Two walks in the inning here for Bill Hogg, and uh, here comes Danny Murphy. And uh, Danny rolls, I don't know how well you can see that there. He rolls a 55 for an 8, and that's a single over shortstop. will score one. Sends Eddie Collins up to second base, and here is Rube Oldring. And uh, the Athletics are starting to get into this one, and uh, it may be that the lack of depth in this Highlander uh, pitching staff is what's going to hurt them. Uh, Oldring rolls a 22 for an 8, and it's the same result. And another run scores after another single. And here comes Jimmy Collins. 2 nothing Athletics here, bottom of the first inning. Collins rolls a 54 for a 45. That's a fly ball over to right field. Keeler has it for the second out. And here comes Simon Nichols. Athletics coming close to batting around here in this inning, but it won't happen. He rolls a 36 for a 33. That's an infield fly up there for ball. He makes the catch. We go to the top of the second. Jake Stahl there rolls a 56 for a 34, and he hits a little uh, infield fly over there to Nichols for the first out. Here's Neil Ball. He rolls a 22 for an 8, and that's a ground ball over to Nichols again. Throws to first for the out, two away, and here's Wood Conroy. Conroy rolls a 63 for a 31. That's a fly ball over to Oldring in center. We go to the bottom of the second, 2 nothing Athletics. Here is Ossie Schreckengos, who rolls a 54 for a 45. That will bring up a little E roll, but the roll is a 66. That's a wasted 66, and that's a fly ball over to right field. Keeler has it for the out, one away. Eddie Plank, now the batter, rolls a 51 for a 23. That changes to 40, which is a W base on balls, and Plank wins the walk. Walk number three given up by Bill Hogg. Here's Topsy Hartzell. Topsy rolls a 34 for a 44, and that's a little fly ball to center field. Hempel has it for the second out, and here's Harry Davis. Davis rolls a 31 for a 9. That's a ground ball over to Conroy. Throws over to first for the out. We go to the top of the third. 2 nothing Athletics. Here is Red Kleinow, who rolls a 21 for a 30. Hits a fly ball over to Hartzell in left field for the first out. That brings up Bill Hogg. Wild Bill here rolls a 31 for a third. Uh, yes, a 31, sorry, for a 13. You can see that more clearly than I can because of the uh, way that this camera's reflection is. That is a strikeout. Um, 13 is not what you want on 31. Here's Charlie Hemphill. He rolls a 42 for a 14, and he gets his walk. And uh, up now comes Wee Willie Keeler. Keeler rolls a 44 for an 8. That's a ground ball over to uh, third base. It's going to be uh, Collins. Uh, the other Collins, Jimmy Collins, grabs that one, throws to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the third, and here comes Eddie Collins. He rolls a 43 for a 29. Come back over to Hogg, throws to first for the first out. Here's Danny Murphy hitting 344, one for one in this game with a single. And he rolls a 64 for a 13. That is a strikeout by Hogg, his first strikeout of the game. And here's Rube Oldring. And Rube rolls a 61 for a 32. That will be a fly ball over to Keeler and right. And uh, we go to the top of the fourth inning, still 2 nothing Athletics. Here is Harry Niles, rolls a 51 for a 10, and he gets a base hit. Only the second base hit uh, for the Highlanders. Only the fourth base hit of this game. And here comes Hal Chase. Hmm, I think we'll have Chase swing away. 
And uh, the rule is a 45 for a 14, which is a ball because of Eddie Plank's Z. Next rule is an 11 for a zero, and uh, that's followed up by 52 for an 11. So Chase gets the base hit, sends Niles to third, and then he um, is able to uh, steal second base on uh, – the uh, as the uh, next batter comes up there, there was a little question that I had about whether we should uh, hit and run or maybe even bunt in that situation, but I think that I made the right call by not doing anything. And that's really, really rough to figure out, right? Because um, uh, it's, it's always difficult to sort of predict what might happen and what might not happen. And though I have, um, even with the skater soft boards, I have a lot of the bases... Um, or so the normal boards memorized, it's hard to remember what is on the hit and run boards and the sacrifice boards. And I don't want to bore everybody by going through and like trying to figure all this stuff out in the middle of a game. We're going to pull the infield in for Jake Stahl here, and um, he's going to swing away runners on second and third. His rule is a 51 for a 10, and uh, that's a single that scores one and uh, sends the other one to third base. And uh, that's a two to one ball game now. And, uh, it's, uh, yeah, the uh, Highlanders are starting to come back, and uh, maybe this is a better team than I was uh, saying they were. They were able to uh, recover, for the most part, from that uh, two runs given up in the bottom of the first inning. Neil Ball up there now, and the question is, do we hit and run because we can do it? Stahl has an 11. Let's try it. Let's see what happens here. Um, And we are, of course, going to pull the infield in, try to cut off that run, Hal Chase, when he tries to score. The rule's a 14 for a 43, and that's a quiet fly ball over to left field. Hartzell's got it for only the first out, and here comes Wood Conroy. Infield will come in. Conroy, the question is, do we swing away or bunt? Let's have some fun. Let's try to put this... uh, uh, Now, let's do a suicide squeeze. There we go. I want to hit no on that. It's asking me if it's a safety squeeze or a suicide Let's do a suicide squeeze with the fast runner. His roll is a 34 for a 44. That is a good bunt back to Plank. Plank throws over to uh, the uh, second baseman. Collins covering a first for the out. And so instead of that 44 being a little fly ball over to center field and maybe a sacrifice fly, it is a squeeze play that works. And um, Conroy did a very good job with that. And we have a tie ball game. It is two to two. And uh, that's the reason why we call that play. Um, now, that's the sort of play that you probably would never see um, in modern baseball because all of our uh, statistical overlords tell us that it is inefficient. Those of us who play these games might know a little bit better. Klein now up there hits a, a little comeback over to uh, the pitcher plank, throws over to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Here is Jimmy Collins. Collins rolls a 45 for a 14, and uh, that is incorrect, and I'm having this problem again. So hold on one second. All right, we're back, and uh, Collins actually rolled a 45, so I've undone that, and there's a 45, and there's that walk given up by uh, Bill Hogg, and that brings up Simon Nichols. Um, I've talked about this in recent videos. The problem, as I said, is caused by virtual box. Um, that's the reason why this weird thing keeps happening. It doesn't only happen with NP3. It's happened with Diamond Mind as well, so um, it, it, what happens is the thing just freezes for some strange reason. Nichols, uh, I have him bunting, rolls a 35 for a 13, which uh, fortunately for him is a foul strike. If we were playing with the original uh, 1950 APA boards, or 52 at least, which is where the first sacrifice booklet comes from, that would have been a strikeout. Next roll, next attempt to bump is a 54 for a 45. That's a good bunt over to the left side. Conroy grabs it, throws over to first. Collins moves up, and here is Shrekengos, the first of two chances to drive in Jimmy Collins. And uh, Shrek and Ghost rolls a 52 for a 27, and that's not the way to do it. That's another one hit over to Conroy. Throws over to first for the out, and that's the second out. Here comes Eddie Plank. And Plank rolls, there you go, 33, and that is a base hit for Plank, and that will score the run, and it is 3-2 to two now. Uh, athletics, as Eddie Plank is helping his own cause, and uh, that was worth the wait, at least from my end. I know that for you... Um, uh, there's really no wait at all because I pause the video while I try to get everything fixed up. Um, but for me, it does take a minute or two. What happens is I exit out of a virtual box. It saves the exact state of what's happening, and then I just open it up again, and then it works. Don't ask me why it happens. Here's Topsy Hartzell now with Eddie Plank on first base. Two outs, bottom of the fourth inning, and he rolls a 63 for a 31. That's a fly ball over to Hemphill in center field, and that does it. We go to the top of the fifth, and here is Bill Hogg. 3-2 to two athletics now, and Hogg rolls a 43 for a 29, hits that ball, taps it back to Plank, who throws the first for the out, one away. Here's Charlie Hemphill, and he rolls a 54 for a 45. That's a fly ball over to Danny Murphy in right field, makes the play, two outs, and here's Wee Willie Keeler. Keeler rolls a 56 for a 32, also hits a fly ball over to Murphy in right. We go to the bottom of the fifth, and here comes Harry Davis, and he rolls a 64 for a 41. That's a little ground ball over to uh, Niles, the second baseman, throws the first for the out, one away. Eddie Collins now 
Collins rolls a 33 for a zero. This is the power hitting of the two Collinses, and the second uh, roll is an 11 for a two, and that's a triple for Eddie. And here comes uh, Danny Murphy, and uh, we're going to have to have the Highlanders play that uh, infield in, but Murphy's going to swing away. And this is why he rolls an 11 for a zero and a 64 then for a six. And there's a chance that this could be increased to home run, but it won't. A 53 is the first roll. That remains a six. Double for Murphy. Scores the run. Four to two now. Um, athletics. And here comes Rube Oldring. One out still. Bottom of the fifth inning. Four to two athletics. And his roll is a 15 for an 11. And that's a single that will score the runner. Uh, I'm sorry, that will not score the runner. Um, the uh, runner Murphy is thrown out um, at home uh, because he doesn't have the F. And so that one is thrown out stall to Kleinow, Oldring able to uh, steal second with the next batter up there. You might be wondering why in the world it is that you have the runner in this situation thrown out at home instead of scoring, right? And that's different. I think that's different from the old APA boards that we could go back and check. One of the reasons why is because you have to get runners who are thrown out in the base paths. Those are outs that you need. The focus, again, of all these sims, whether it's OTP or APA or National Pastime or anything, focuses chiefly on outs. You have to make sure that you have enough outs. If you don't have enough outs, it won't work. Jimmy Collins is up there. He rolls a 53 for a 20. That's changed to a little 18, and that's a, a ground ball over to Ball, the shortstop who boots it. Collins ends up on a first base, Oldring over a third. Here comes Simon Nichols, 4-2 to two athletics. Now runners on first and third, but two outs here, bottom of the fifth. And his role is a 45 for a 14, and Hogg has lost him and has um, loaded up the bases. Hogg is kind of on a short leash here if uh, he continues to do acts of poor pitching. What do they call it? Self-destructive pitching acts or something like that? Um, and uh, the rule from Schreckengoss is a 22 for a 7, and that's a single that scores 2. And it's a 6-2 to two ball game, and that's going to be it for Hogg. And uh, this is a little bit early, I know, to uh, make this change, but it's also getting very, very late in a hurry. I'm just uh, taking a quick look over here just to make sure I don't use somebody who I would use otherwise. We're probably just going to put in a, a Doyle here for as the uh, relief pitcher. And uh, here comes in Slow Joe Doyle, and uh, that's um, how we're going to handle that problem. So um, the uh, Athletics able to score four runs here and have burst this one wide open here in the bottom of the fifth. And here comes Eddie Plank with runners on first and second, uh, though with two outs. Um, I was going to say, didn't Plank start this inning off? He did not. Plank uh, featured in that last inning where he had a single to score um, uh, a run. And uh, let's see. The roll for Plank is an 11 for a 0. Eddie Plank having a very good offensive day as well as a good day on the mound. The next roll is a 22 for a 6. So he has no home runs, which is why this M is not going to come in uh, to uh, play. He does get a double, though, that clears the bases. It is now 8-2 to two, uh, athletics. So the reason why that happens is sort of to avoid what you see a lot with Diamond Mine Baseball, where you'll get a home run hit by somebody who never hit one in real life. Some people care about it, some people don't, but it is a nice feature to have that and to know that the uh, game will be at least accurate in that regard. Hartzell now rolls a 55 for an 8. That's a ground ball back to Doyle. Throws over to first for the out, but not before the damage has been done. Top of the 6, here's Harry Niles. He rolls a 24 for a 13. That's not how you start up a rally. Hal Chase next. Rolls a 51 for an 8. That's a ground ball over to uh, the shortstop, Nichols. Throws the first for the out. Two away, and that brings up Jake Stahl. And uh, Stahl rolls a 12 for a 25. That's a little ground ball over to Eddie Collins. Throws the first for the out. We go to the bottom of the 6. 8 to 2 athletics. And uh, here is Harry Davis. Rolls a uh, 24 for a 13. And this is incorrect. And uh, this is frozen again. All right. Well, uh, just a second. All right, hi there, and I'm back again, and this rule actually is a 24, not a 12, and we can make it work here. 24 is a strikeout for Davis, and um, this may end up being the last that you see of a virtual box because this is starting to drive me nuts, and I'm especially unhappy when I see this twice in uh, one game. Eddie Collins up here now, bottom of the sixth inning, 8-2 to two is the score, and he rolls a 14 for a 43. There's a little E possibility, and uh, we'll have the roll in there. The roll is a 34. That's out of the range. That's a fly ball over to Stall left field two away and here's danny murphy 
Murphy rolls a 42 for a 13 and strikes out. We go to the top of the seventh inning now, and here's Neil Ball to lead this off uh, for um, New York. And uh, time's running out for the Highlanders. Ball rolls a 15 for an 11, gets a base hit, and then steals second with Wood Conroy up there. Remember that the S and F ratings actually don't mean if they're slow or fast. It's sort of a run scoring index. right? Ball is clearly fast because he can steal the base, and he just did. But um, that doesn't necessarily mean he gets a uh, F. If everyone had Fs when they could steal bases, then we'd have a lot of problems with guys zipping around the base pass, which happens with Appa. We'll talk about that later. Conroy up here now rolls a 24 for a 13 and strikes out. Planks fourth strike out of the game and here's red Klein now and uh he rolls a 61 for a 32 that is a fly ball over to right field murphy has it for the out two away and here's slow joe doyle he rolls a 64 for a 13 and that is strikeout number five for plank here comes rube oldering bottom of the seventh inning he rolls a 46 for a 29 as a comeback over to doyle makes the play to first for the out one away here is Jimmy Collins, who rolls a 24 for a 13 and strikes out. Third strikeout uh, for J- slow Joe Doyle, but too little too late. As Simon Nichols is up there, rolls a 65 for a 35. There is a little E roll, and it's going to be a 24 just out of the range. That's a pop-up over to Hal Chase, the first baseman, who makes the play. We go to the top of the eighth inning, and here's Charlie Hemphill. Charlie rolls a 12 for a 25. We do have another little E roll to worry about, and it's a 62, which is way out of the range. There's a ground ball over to uh, second base to Eddie Collins. Throws the first for the out. We Willie Keeler now. He rolls a 44 for an 8. There's a single to left center field. That'll bring up uh, Harry Niles, runner on first base, down 8 to 2. And his roll is a 51 for a 10, which is a single. Sends uh, Keeler to third. Niles able to steal second base with Hal Chase up there. And here comes Chase again. His roll is a 32 for a 26. Infield is back. That's a ground ball to second base. Collins just throws over to first base. Allow the run to score. It's 8 to 3. And here comes Jake Stahl. He rolls a 32 for a 26. And that's the same result. A little ground ball to Collins. Throws to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Shrek and Ghost up there rolls a 44 for an 8. And there's a base hit. That will make Doyle into a D, but I don't think we really care. Runner on first base, and here's Eddie Plank, who's two for two in this one with um, two RB or three RBI, and he rolls a 31 for a 36, and that's going to be a wild pitch, and that will send Schreckengost up to uh, second base. These pitcher cards are always fun because you always get kind of crazy numbers that come up. The next roll for Plank is a 25 for a nine, which is going to be a base hit, and uh, that sends um, the uh, runner home. So the fourth RBI of the day for Plank, and then Plank of all things, ends up uh, trying to steal second base because of the little C, and he's thrown out. Boy, I didn't imagine that would happen here. I'm just looking at that card. I'm not seeing a lot of um, 11s or other stolen base numbers. Um, so we can ask Bill about that at some point in time. 9-3, to three, though, Athletics. Here's Topsy Hartzell, and he rolls a 56 for a 34. We probably should have told him not to steal, but, I mean, at this point, I don't really care that much. And uh, there's a pop fly over to um, Ball for the uh, second out, and here comes Harry Davis. Davis rolls a 26 for a 27. That's a ground ball over to third base, and it's Conroy who has it, and uh, that does that. We're going to put this no-steal attempt on, which is probably what I should have been doing all along. Here's Neil Ball at the top of the ninth. He rolls an 11 for a 0, and his next roll is a 25 for a 6, and so he doubles over to right center field. That brings up Wood Conroy now with uh, nobody out, runner on second base, 9-3. to three. And uh, Conroy rolls a 16 for a 26. That's a ground ball over to Collins. Throws over to first for the out. One away. Here's Red Klein now now with a runner on third base. Infield will be back, of course. He rolls a 34 for a 44. There is a little E possibility. But this is a 54 way out of the range. That's a fly ball over to center field. And Oldring has uh, has it for the out. And uh, there is uh, the final score, actually, because uh, Oldring then is able to throw um, the uh, runner out of the plate. Um, a good throw over to a catcher, uh, Schreckengost, and that ends it. So Ball ends up being thrown out of the plate um, as he attempts to score on that uh, sacrifice fly. And a really good play there in uh, center field by Oldring, and that ends the game. Not every day you see a sacrifice fly attempt that um, is thrown out at home when there's a six-run lead for the home team like this, but um, it happens from time to time, I suppose. And there's the end of your ball game. So final score is Athletics 9, Highlanders 3. Only one error in this game, which is a little bit unusual for this uh, period of time. The Athletics really made um, uh, efficient use of their base hits and uh, played very, very well in this one. And... Uh, uh, poor Bill Hogg walked a few guys too many and uh, just sort of dug his own grave. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll come back to you with more tomorrow. I'll talk to you then. Bye.